Material processing is the series of operations and methods that transform raw materials into finished products with the desired properties. The operations involve a succession or combination of industrial processes with various mechanical, thermal, or chemical procedures that engineers use to transform raw materials into products that meet specific requirements. These processes vary significantly, depending on the material being processed and the desired end products. Material processing is an essential aspect of many industries like manufacturing, automotive, aerospace, electronics, etc. It includes a wide range of techniques used in transforming raw metals into useful metallic products, turning wood into papers, plastic resins into plastic products, and more. Material processing is as old as mechanization which began with the Industrial Revolution of the 18th century principally in England. Over the years, the processing methods have evolved and the machinery has grown in variety and numbers. A series of operations that transform materials from a raw state into finished parts or desired products, starts immediately after the raw materials are extracted from the crude ore for metallic materials through the process of beneficiation and pyrometallurgy, or produced from basic chemical or natural substances for ceramics, rubber and plastic materials. The processes used for the manufacture of the desired products generally provide two major functions. They are 1. The formation and shaping of parts or products into the desired shape. 2 the alteration of the properties of the materials to get the desired products. The formation and shaping of parts or products into the desired shape. The formation and shaping process may be classified into two broad types. They are liquid state formation and solid state formation. Liquid state formation is used for a wide range of materials including metals, plastics, glasses, ceramics etc. It is called casting when it involves metal, glass, and ceramics. It is called molding when it is applied to plastics. In both cases, the melted material goes into a dye or mold to create the final form. The material to be worked on is first heated and melted to form a liquid, then it is poured into a previously prepared mold cavity. This permits the production of complex shapes, internal cavities, and hollow sections. The liquid forms the desired shape inside the mold cavity, and on subsequent solidifications, the mold is opened and the shaped component is removed. However, the final molding may require further processing in terms of finished machining or heat treatment to achieve the desired properties. Solid state formation, also known as solid state processing, are processes in which the material is deformed plastically to get the desired shape or form. This process is mainly used to form or shape metallic materials. Manufacturing of products by plastic deformation has been performed for ages. Plastic deformation of material can be accomplished with or without heating the material. They are formed into desired shapes by the application of a force or pressure. Solid materials can be shaped either hot or cold, a process called hot working or cold working. Based on raw material, desired final products, and material flow pattern, the solid material forming processes are classified into bulk and sheet forming processes. Bulk forming process deforms high volume to surface area ratio raw materials, resulting in a change in surface area. It is a severe deformation process resulting in massive shape change. The surface area to volume of the work is relatively small, mostly done in hot working conditions e.g. rolling, forging, extrusion, wire or rod drawing. In the sheet forming processes, the raw material has a low volume to surface area ratio. That is, the surface area to volume ratio of the starting material is relatively high. Tools including punch and die are used to deform the sheet. E.g. bending, deep drawing, shearing, etc. Recently, another category named sheet bulk forming has been introduced. In sheet bulk material forming processes, the bulk deformation of sheets is carried out that uniformly brings out the intended changes in the thickness as well. Coining, flow forming, and ironing are examples of sheet bulk forming. 2. The alteration of the properties of the material to get the desired product. After the material is formed, it is usually further altered. The physical state or composition of materials and products can be altered by several different means including mechanical, thermal, and chemical processes. The widely used method is mechanical processing. 
which employs the use of specialized equipment in the processing of solid material. This includes machining, cutting, grinding, etc. Mechanical processing is often used for metals, plastics, and composites, as it allows for precise control over the final shape and dimensions of the products. Another common method is thermal processing, a process in which the temperature of the material is raised or lowered to alter the properties of the original material. It involves the addition or reduction of heat to alter a range of materials, especially metals, a process commonly known as heat treatment. Most thermal treating processes are based on time temperature cycles that include three steps, heating, holding at a particular temperature, and then cooling. This is used to improve the strength and hardness of materials by controlling their microstructure. Thermal processing can also be used to melt and fuse materials, as in welding, brazing, and soldering. These methods are particularly useful for materials that are sensitive to mechanical forces or require specific temperature conditions for processing. Chemical processing is another method used in material processing. They are applied to modify the cellular structure or molecular properties of material on a microscopic level. Chemical processing is often employed for materials that require surface treatments or have complex compositions that cannot be achieved through mechanical or thermal means, such as electroplating, painting, and porcelain are employed to modify the surface of materials to enhance their appearance or protect them from corrosion. In conclusion, material processing is a vital aspect of many industries, enabling the transformation of raw materials into finished products. When processing material, it is important to consider factors such as material properties, desired outcome, environmental impact, and quality control. By understanding the basics of processing materials, industries can optimize their production processes and deliver high-quality products to meet customer demands.